controller, hook it up to your iPad, and voila! Welcome back, DLG fam. Here we are with Backbone. Backbone once again, but this time we're adding the plus sign right besides the name. What is that? It's a paid subscription service that will allow you to, hmm, I would say benefit from a lot of new perks they're gonna add to the app itself. So I'm not sure if you have to pay for the app or if it's gonna have in-app purchases for you to sign up. But if you're a lucky one like I am and you've owned this device for a couple of months, you get grandfathered into this program for a lifetime. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about once I hook up my phone onto the device. I'll show you where it says lifetime on the actual subscription service, which is pretty cool. I might give Backbone another try. If you go to the hamburger menu, then the cog wheel, you will be able to see your subscription status. As for me, you will see here, it says lifetime. The reason why it says lifetime is as I mentioned before, if you did get the Backbone one prior to October 22nd, you will receive that lifetime membership. What is this service going to allow you to do? Well, guess what guys? It's gonna give you the ability to stream to Twitch through your phone without having all those cables, all that messy mumbo jumbo like I have back here on my computer, you know, the capture card and all that, but directly through your phone. Obviously your phone's gonna drain faster, but that's not the point. They're taking full advantage of the iPhone gaming mode. What's that gonna do? Well, once you turn on gaming mode, if you're not too sure what that is, that is the ability for you to turn off any notifications so they don't pop up on your screen and distract you like it's happened to me before. I'm over here playing some games and all of a sudden, bling, notification, bling, notification, bling, text message, and all this stuff. The notifications are meant to get your attention. So what does gaming mode do? Turns them off. Doesn't mean you're fully ignoring them. They'll still be in the background, but you just will not get notified. They're actually redoing the entire front of the application itself, the UI. They remodeled it. It appears to be pretty cool. You know, they're starting to make it look kind of like the Xbox dashboard. We got all these little blocks across the screen and everything for all the video games. Another cool feature that they're adding, which I think that's what Instagram is for, but they're adding reactions and shares. What is that going to do? It's going to give you the ability to like somebody's actual footage or the clip that they recorded. So it's kind of like Insta gaming, I would say. You'll be able to go in there and record your own video clips, share them. Your friends and other people will be able to like your videos. And nice thing is there's no dislike button on there, right? Just like on YouTube. Just kidding, guys. Another cool feature that they're actually adding on here, you already have the ability to do so, was screen capture all your video games. The Backbone recording tool and editing tool actually records at 1080p, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second if you want that crisp movement across the screen. The Backbone app is actually going to be recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second and also supporting HEVC 60 frames per second that's by default and what does that do it cuts your files right in half because you already know your storage on your phone is precious well I have one terabyte so uh, I'm pretty sure well I'll probably fill it up with HD recording right another neat thing that you will be able to do with that backbone plus is guess what guys you got an iPad BAM you got a backbone one grab your iPhone cable, this is only with the Backbone Plus program. Plug it into your controller, hook it up to your iPad, and voila, you got a controller for your iPad. All right guys, so you get your iPad, your Backbone, and your iPhone cable. What you do is you grab your iPhone cable, plug it into your Backbone as so, then the other end, you go ahead and you plug it into your iPad. What you wanna do now is, if you do have the Xbox Cloud Gaming app on the phone, uh, your iPad, sorry. Go ahead and press it. All right, guys, so now that it's loaded, you want to go ahead and pick a game. You may have to make sure you go through the app on your iPad itself. Don't go through the browser because it's not going to work. So let's say you want to play Forza. So there you go. Please note that the cloud gaming is somewhat choppy at times and you have to have a really good connection. So let's press A. See, there you go, it's loading. As you guys can see, it's actually working. I pressed A to go to the load screen. Also another thing, if you're used to the rumble feature, the backbone does not have a rumble feature, so you will not get the, vibe, the feedback on the controller itself. Backbone claims that the actual presses on the controller, they are uh, the latency between your press and, and it corresponding with the game is far better than a Bluetooth connection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't have no 720S on the gravel. Look at that. All right, guys. So there you go. See? 
That's how it actually works on Xbox Cloud Gaming. Bam, just like that. Not only will you be able to hook it up to your iPad, you'll be able to hook it up to your PC and your Mac. You can take your backbone with you in your backpack, game on your phone, and then game on your Mac, game on your iPad. All right guys, so how do you connect your iPad? You go to the top hamburger menu, left hand side, cogwheel, controller, play on any screen. As you can see here, you can play on the iPad, Google Chrome, PC, Android, and your Mac. But for right now, we're gonna pick the iPad. From there, you're able to go ahead and connect your iPad directly to your Backbone One through the Apple cable. This is starting to look a lot more interesting with this new app update. I mean, I know it's gonna be a monthly fee. Remember I mentioned about me having lifetime? Anybody that buys a Backbone now is gonna receive one year for free. That's awesome. So, hmm. I'm starting to think about it. It's probably well worth grabbing a Backbone with the Backbone Plus if you're going to benefit from all those features. For me, I would say I'm on the line in between worth it or not because I'm a lifetime subscriber now to the program just because I own this since the time when it there was like this special page where you pre-ordered and you had to wait in line for your turn to get one. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys got the Backbone Plus. What do you think about it? Are you guys actually using all the features that the Backbone Plus program is made for? Just wanted to add in there one more thing. So if you actually create an account before October 22nd, 2021, you will receive a lifetime membership to the Backbone Plus program. That is amazing. What company has ever done that before, right guys? But if you do like the content I'm providing, don't forget to hit that like button, turn that red button gray, join the DOG fam for these uh, amazing little tiny products that continue giving to us and to the rest of the gaming community but till next time guys i'm tech peace out company is actually moving into the subscription is actually moving into the subscription based program <laughs> uh, tongue twister